I was sitting at my computer reviewing some scans and an email came through, uh, which I read five times before actually believing that I'd won the Wiley Scholar Award. Literally just then I got paged to one of our sister hospitals, um, Toronto Western Hospital, to go see an, uh, an elderly man who had presented there and been diagnosed with a ruptured aneurysm. really brought home to me what the research is about. Currently there are no treatments at all, to even in 2018, to slow down aneurysm growth. The only tool we have is to measure the size of the aneurysm. So the, the purpose of this research is to understand uh, what causes aneurysms to grow. We know that a particular type of cell in our body, an immune cell called a macrophage, participates in the growth of aneurysms. And we discovered that in the aorta there are two types of macrophage. There are macrophages that come from the blood and those that are already residing in the aorta. One has a more protective function to maintain the normal healthy aorta and the other one participates in disease. We're thrilled to have recruited John here to, to the University of Toronto and the Peter Monk Cardiac Centre. Um, he's an outstanding individual. He comes across as a, as a very thoughtful, calm person and I think this translates into both his clinical care of patients as well as his research. For me, at the beginning of my career as a surgeon scientist, it provides that valuable funding that helps me get my initial research done so then I can apply for more sustainable grant funding and create an independent research program. These individuals have become leaders in, in vascular disease investigation and therapy. Um, over those years, there's only, John is only the second non-US based surgeon to receive this award. Coincidentally, the only other was Dr. Barry Rubin, who's our who's our colleague and, and the medical director of the Peter Monk Cardiac Center. Receiving that level of recognition from an international body was hugely impactful on my career. It gave me the sense that I really was playing uh, at an international level in terms of competing for research. And the funding was crucial because it's very hard to get funding at the initial stages of your career and it set the stage for um, a career in research for me. Our goal is that by understanding the biology of aneurysm growth, we will then be able to predict whose aneurysm might grow and those that are most at risk of rupture. By understanding this, we can discover potential therapeutic targets.